Yo, what's up, kings? How you guys doing? I'm in a good mood. Why? Because I'm a free man, baby. Life's so good, man. Life is so good when you get to do what you love every, every single day. So if you guys are feeling down, put your head up, kings, because life is good, and you can achieve anything you want in the world, baby. This video, I'm going to be giving back a little bit to the community that has given back to me so much. The Pendulum community, baby. So if you're a Pendulum player, stand up, beat your chest, scream, let's go. And today's video is going to be how to play pendulums like a god, baby. How to play pendulums like the pen god. Five negates with literally three bricks in my head. And on top of that, if you guys stay tuned to the end of this video, you're also going to see how I destroy an entire six negate board without any side cards with pendulums only. This is an incredible video for you guys. Before you get into this video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, baby. Not just for me, but also for Ghost Corp. Because if you guys missed it, on Sunday, we are releasing, throwing, an absolutely free 128-player tournament. And guess what? All 128 slots are full now. Look at the Penguin Hour, boosting at the 256, baby. 256, let's go. 256 just for you guys. You have like two days to sign up. Sign up will be closed on, on Saturday. So 256 players, courtesy of Ghost Corp, the Ghost Corp Grand Championships, baby. Free tournament, top eight are gonna win a cloth play, man. All you gotta do to sign up is subscribe to Ghost Corp and send me a screenshot that you are subscribed on Facebook, Discord, Instagram, whatever. Send me a screenshot and I'll automatically enter you in the tournament. So with that being said, guys, time for some pendulum training. So stay tuned till the end of the video because there is some absolutely incredible content in this video. It took me a long time to get this. So, with that being said, y'all know the drill. Y'all know the drill. Let's get started on today's video. Let's go, baby! Let's go! This is gonna be another installment in our pendulum training series. I wanna teach all you guys how to play pendulums. And I do do this all the time on my Patreon, where the Patreon is not even a normal Patreon. It is just pendulum training, that's it. And I will be showcasing my updated deck profile where I do play more than one. I will be showcasing it tomorrow, but only we get 500 likes, baby. So if you want to see the updated deck profile of this deck, comment down below if you want to see it. Let's get 500 likes and we'll see you tomorrow. Let's go, boys. Let's go. First and foremost, we're going to go Knowledge here. And what do you know? Huh, it's kind of like Jester Conf. It's a good card. It's kind of like Jester Conf. They saved us there. Am I right, boys? Am I right? We're still going to overcome this bad hand here. So next, uh, we're going to go Chronograph. And we're going to go Restage. And then use up Doctor to search Servant. Why? If Knowledge was not Ash Blossom, we know there's no Ash Blossom. So you could freely actually clog your scales at this point because if they don't not Ash the Knowledge, if they don't Ash the Abductor, there's no damn Ash Blossom. And at this point, you don't care about any other hand trap in the world. And we're gonna play through Nibiru. With the bad hand, we're gonna play through Nibiru and everything. We're gonna sacrifice our board a little bit to play through the Nibiru. I don't know why he's playing. So we go Ash into Jackal. Now, uh, we don't have a second level seven. How are you gonna put up the Negates trip? You don't have the, this another level seven. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna link everything except the Jackal. Crowley's not even gonna get its effect, but you do want something. I, I, I do want a link there in the grave for the follow-up so I can have access code to get a different pop. So I prefer a dark in there over a light. You gotta think, it's chess, baby. This, this is chess. Next, we're going to uh, link these into Selene. Uh, I am going to then Pendulum Summon Chronograph and then use Selene to special Jester Confit. You special summon this Jester Confit three different times, by the way, just so you guys are aware. You special it via its own effect. You special it via restage and you special it via Selene. Three times. If that restage, if that Jester Conf was anything else, this, I would not have five negates. That's a promise. We went to Masquerina over here. Uh, great reason why you must play Masquerina for hands like this where you don't aren't able to cross sheep all the time because no access to level sevens. And then you use Mighty Master to pop the restage and there you go. You have a negate in Jackal, you have a negate in right hand, you have a negate in Master, right? But then, when you, the first spell card that's activated, you negate with Mighty Master to bounce back to your hand. Then you activate the Selene to special back that same Mighty Master. And then you're not even done there. Then you go into the Mascarena to special into another Selene. And then that Selene will special another card. That's five negates. Or you can use that Mascarena to go into Appaloosa if your opponent's playing Rock or like a monster deck. The opponent scoops right away. Actually, funny you see here, he, uh, he's like, uh, hey, this is you all subscribe to your Patreon right now. And guess what? He did, baby. So you guys should follow suit with our boy, boy Joe. If you guys want to learn how to put up boards like this, I'm signing up now. Say, lad, he came up right now. I told him, bro, thanks for signing up. But I'm out to whoop your ass. Even though you're a patron, I don't care, bro. It's all good. We're going to go to game two now. Now, game two, no, I, I actually now started playing hand traps. I play hand traps now uh, because 
of the Dragon FDK. And I will be showcasing the whole deck profile tomorrow if we get 500 likes. So you guys can see the hand trap lineup that I use. Actually, it's extremely powerful. Now, we don't open anything after this. So he's playing Pendulums, right? So I'm like, all right, I'm going to have to use this Phantasma wisely. Uh, hopefully, I can draw into a Nibiru. Hopefully, he doesn't have a Jackal. But his servant's going to resolve pen, pen best deck. Pen best deck. Hand traps don't do shit to Pendulums. There's multiple times, if you guys want to see it, comment below. Multiple times where I have put up five, six, seven negates through two hand traps. Multiple times. Hand traps don't do anything to Pendulums. I've said this time and time again, but I didn't know he was playing Pendulums. Yeah, this is my, my side deck prepared for what I expect to face, which is Dragon, uh, uh, Dragon Link, uh, Dragon of Decay. L Lich, Synchro, Rock, stuff like that. Uh, so next he's gonna go Souls. Uh, at this point, I'm like, I, I'm like thinking, uh, I know the Nibiru is in my deck, so I Phantasmia at this point. Uh, he lets it go, I draw into the Nibiru, but I'm like, wait a second. Uh, I know Jackal is just gonna negate that, so I actually just put back the Nibiru. The Phantasmia did not help me at all. Phantasmia ended up just drawing, replaced itself with the Jackal King, because I know his Mighty Master is gonna eventually pop my Phantasmia. So, the Phantasmate did not put in much work here, but typically, uh, against other matchups, Phantasmate puts in a lot of work because it typically does stay on field, and you can attack into Mascarena or whatever, some interruption. So you can clear one interruption for you uh, to help you clear, clear boards. So look at my hand, it's not good. I hard drew Knowledge twice now? This card sucks. I hard drew this card twice. I hard drew a Jackal. How's Jackal gonna help me clear a pen board? How are we gonna clear this pen board? And he's still not done. He's still not done. I was gonna cross you Vortex combo, and he's still not done. So just like that, he has a Selene, a Mighty Master, a Vortex, double Jack on right hand. That's six negates with a follow-up, and he didn't even use Blue Boy yet. Next turn, he could draw two cards. Things ain't looking good for your boy, but I, like, look at my hand. How am I going to clear this with my hand? Do you guys think I can clear this with my hand? Let me know. Like, look, think about it. Look at this. How on earth am I going to clear this board with my current hand? Seems impossible, right? You're wrong. So what I'm gonna do actually I gotta look we're gonna look very closely. It's like you clear if you could clear this board, you should have no problem clearing rock boards and other garbage boards. This is six negates. So what I'm gonna do here in a normal son of abductor. Knowledge is so trash for me, but I'm gonna be forced to waste my normal summon just so I can activate knowledge to try and force out the right hand. So I activate knowledge off the bat. Uh, I, I could I can activate it, I just cannot draw if it resolves. So I can use knowledge on an abductor, I just can't draw. So I'm using a pro play there in my mind. I know it has to get negated by right hand. So knowledge is just waste one spell card from him. And I'm kind of hoping that the desires or mastery that could resolve at the end could draw a mighty master. And maybe, just maybe, we could resolve mighty master and go from there. Now, I know master is going to get negated. My goal is just to have waste all the spell trap negates, have desires be the last card activated. And then because master will get negated, now you have five outs in your deck after you're drawing two cards. Five outs into any mastery, into any mighty master, into any draw card to search them. Because don't forget, you're playing a 26 card deck. So this is not like RNG almost. You're playing a 26 card deck because you're playing 14 draw cards. So if your desires are the last card you activate with no spell cards, it's a big brain. They're out of the 26 cards remaining in your deck, uh, which you'd open only uh, sort of six outs to master, right? 26 cards in your deck. You just drew six of them. So now there's 20 cards left in your deck. Uh, 21 cards left in your deck. Uh, with five, 20 cards left in your deck, with five of them being Mighty Masters. So if you have 20 cards in your deck with five of them being Mighty Masters, you compare that to playing a 40 card deck, to playing a 40 card deck, because you're drawing two cards and then having five cards. I know it's a lot of math there, but this is the same equivalent as, imagine you're drawing two cards randomly in a 40 card deck, but 10 of them are your starters. That's the equivalent. Uh, it's a lot of math there, but it's mathematically correct. Trip math. Let's go, baby. So knowledge will have me forced to get negated here by the right hand, obviously. But he uses Mighty Master first because he's scared of Dark Ruler. So that's fine. I'm going to activate Jackal right away. I'm going to click there. Activate Jackal. So the right hand goes away right away. He's not going to negate a Jackal with Vortex. But right hand will go away. N negate, negate, the, negate the Jackal. Now, the only thing left is Vortex. I'm very smart. There's lots of tricks here. Against a board like Eldritch, the trick is to enter Battle Phase ASAP. So that Abductor's entering battle phase, clearing the Herald right away. Right away. So right away I'm clearing one interruption if it's, uh, the Phantasma would stay on board, right? I would clear, right away, I would clear a Mascarena and a Herald instantly against Rock. Now he's left with his Savage Dragon and I have this, he stands zero chance. But against a better board like this, I have to, you have to recognize the weakness where you see it. The, the weakness in Rock is you enter battle phase to clear two interruptions like nothing. 
The weakness against Elich is that all their interruptions literally suck. Savage is like a wasted in negate. You try and use Savage to use a negate on a monster effect, and then your card still stays there. Uh, the, the negates itself are just not good. VFD, the weakness in that is if they go VFD instead, how does VFD affect your spell cards? It doesn't. So you have to recognize the weakness in every board. The weakness, weakness I recognize in his board is that the Selene will not be able to resolve unless I destroy one of his monsters over here. So I know that the Selene won't be able to resolve then to summon another Mighty Master. So I'm going to be smart in terms of that and find that weakness. So what I'm going to do now is activate another Abductor. He's not going to negate that with Vortex. Obviously not. He's scared of Mystic Mind. He's scared of all this stuff that could come up that he knows I play. He watches my videos. He, oh, why on earth would he negate an Abductor? It's just ridiculous. Of course not. Then I activate the ma 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 Mastery. At this point, that is that must be negated because if all my cards get counters, there's just no way you can allow that. And then I activate Mighty Master, then that Mighty Master will be forced to get negated. He is absolutely 100% forced to negate the, the Mastery here, which leads to what I talked about in the very beginning, which the end goal was the Desires. Because now we're left with two Abductors here that are storing counters. This is literally the plan from the beginning. You're playing chess while other people are playing checkers. Now, all we gotta do is draw Mighty Master or Mastery. What do you know? We drew it. We, there was other outs to it as well. We didn't need to draw Mighty Master or Mastery, but it definitely helped our case a lot. We could have drawn more spell cards, more draw cards, search with Abductor, use Abductor to search a Mighty Master. There were so many outs here because that's the way That's the way you're supposed to play the deck. That's why you play Allure of Darkness. That's why you play Upstart Goblin. That's why you play Into the Void. That's why you play Restage. That's why you play every spell card you possibly can. Your Abductor would trigger even if we didn't open the Mighty Master and we win. At this point, I activate Chronograph, I summon Time Gazer, I activate Mighty Master, and he couldn't believe it. The Watchers were just like, what the hell? Look at this, like, wow, nice, whoa. Yeah, I just cleared an entire Six Negate Pendulum board without any side cards by playing chess, while others play checkers. Next, I Pendulum summon one Chronograph. I recognize the situation. Like I said, you have to recognize, not weakness, but you recognize weak spots in every board. I rec recognize where the spell negates in every board. So I know the Jackals, I'm not going to allow them to negate anything because my Mighty Master will destroy them. The Selene, I won't even allow to negate anything. Now next, how are we going to clear a Mighty Master? This right hand is going to negate our scale next turn. How are we going to clear this whole board? We don't need an OTK. How are you going to clear? OTK means nothing. Like, don't force into an OTK if you can't do it. Damage means nothing. If I'm not putting him at 8,000 damage, then it's the same thing as doing 1 damage. 1 damage and 7,999 is the same damage. If you're not OTKing, who gives a shit about damage? So what I'm trying to do is stop the effect of Mighty Master searching here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an, another uh, link into the graveyard for access code. And I'm going to Selene. Selene Special Jackal, enter battle phase. Enter battle phase to crash, attack the Mighty Master. Effect, negate that with Jackal that I summoned specifically for this reason. Uh, that was negated. Well, genius, bro. I saw this shit coming, bro. Literally chess. Then I go into access code to pop the other two. Now, I don't know he has a blue boy in hand. I didn't know this at the time. But if he has one reflection and two random cards, how is he going to play through a Mighty Master? There's just no way. And I OTK next turn. Um, next, he draws a scale. I didn't know that. Reflection. Then Chronograph. I'm like, okay, I see scale. I'm going to negate the Chronograph for sure. I'm going to keep the Mighty Master because if he drew a Mastery or a Desires, I need to have a card here to, assert, to float into another Mastery or float into a Desires because a Mastery here gets me full scales for next turn. I understand Abductor could be here, but if he finds a way to out the Abductor, I'm in trouble. So I leave the Mighty Master because you're supposed. Whenever you can, leave the Mighty Master on field. Uh, next, he goes. Seeker's not unfortunate for me. He's gonna draw, and he draws actually really powerful mastery and and, and, and a card for reflection resolve. Crazy. He drew extremely good there. How am I still gonna come back from this? His only play really was pen both, uh, and then he wanted to resolve the the Mighty Master. Uh, he wanted to resolve the Mighty Master so that way he could get rid of both cards because if he resolved the Mighty Master, he could destroy that my access code, and he could uh, enter battlefield to destroy this. Then I end up searching a mastery. And that's where all hope he had no he had no chance to win. He had there was no chance here where he had any uh, smidge of chance of victory. He could have used the reflection to bounce the access code, but then I OT came with access code next turn. And uh, even if he did the enter battle phase with a mighty master, maybe do like three thousand, four thousand nine, but he can't OTK. Like I said, it's about OTKing or, or don't don't do that. So he did the right play here. I didn't know what he was playing, so I side like you as you see there. I side a bunch of hand traps to end turns. Nibiru, Token Collector, and a Special Seeker, which I'm saving for tomorrow, and he's Phantasmin to draw into them. I thought he was playing a meta deck, uh, but he ends up he's playing the best deck, and we still find a way to destroy everything. Uh, we're going to use that to add Reflection. There's going to get three counters, Pendulum Summon, 
at this point i had an easy easy otk but i uh, i was just like i was still uh couldn't believe myself for being so so fucking good at this game for destroying a 16 gate board that i was so excited that i didn't even find see the otk here but the otk was very simple i go celine vortex mighty master clear the reflection and enter battle phase attack but uh i completely forgot i, I just completely forgot to use mighty master effect and skills that was my mistake a, a small blemish in an otherwise perfect match and enter paddle face here not that it matters and i'm like yo what the hell uh, i realize at this point like, yo, i'm stupid could have just done this go celine summon uh summon from grace summon from that and win and there's just nothing you can do there that's gg so that's how you play through going first i see you play through going second that's how you clear boards and that's how you play through bad ends and i thought this was a great video for you guys to learn and learn how to destroy worse decks than this because if you could destroy a six negate board like that without dark ruler without mystic mind without dino wrestler without side cards then you should have absolutely zero issue destroying a garbage vfd valor pass deck okay hope you guys like the video if you guys got this far don't forget to smash the subscribe button don't forget to like but down below because if we get 500 likes by tomorrow and comment below if you guys want to see this i will post the updated deck list and it's extremely different than before uh utilizing a bunch of hand traps that I think are so powerful for the meta game right now. So powerful for this meta game. Uh, and let me tell you something. There's 12 hand traps, and there's a reason why. I draw one, you ought to win. That's the video. And don't forget, lastly, guys, you guys never can forget. You guys can't put up these boards unless you play in a Servant of Endemium cost play mat. So get yours in the description below, baby. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Lastly, before we forget, don't forget, like I said in the beginning of the video, sign ups for the Sunday tournament. The Ghost Corp Grand Championships is almost up. We literally already hit 128 in the first day it was announced. I said in the beginning, it's now 256 players, but it's going to be single elimination. 256 players, all on Sunday, single elimination, top 8 will win. Beautiful, unreleased cloth plate mats. Bro, and they're absolutely beautiful, so sign up below. All you got to do is message me on Facebook that you're and that you are subscribed to Ghost Corporation. Subscribe to them on YouTube, send me a screenshot on Facebook, and you're automatically entered. There's about 100 slots left. Uh... Uh, and uh, everything will close on Saturday. So you have until Saturday to sign up. Hope you guys like the video. See you guys next video. Peace.